Adam Copeland, the former Edge in WWE, is now part of AEW. Copeland debuted at Sunday's Wrestle Dream in Seattle, Washington, in the aftermath of Christian Cage's successful TNT title defense over Darby Allen in a two out of three falls match. Christian and Nick Wayne, who had turned on Darby earlier, were laying the boots to Darby when Sting emerged to even the odds. After fighting both Christian and Darby, Luchasaurus came out to give the heels the advantage again. As Christian was set to give a concerto to Sting, the arena went black and a video played of a man driving a classic black sports car driving away from a major city as fireworks went off from a stadium. The words Rated R Superstar could be seen on the road at one point. Then Adam Copeland came out to his longtime WWE entrance song Metalingus by Alter Bridge, complete with nearly the same pyro. Christian welcomed his longtime friend into the ring and offered him the chance to lay the final blow on Sting. Adam took the chair, paused, and then hit Nick Wayne with a hit. Christian escaped as Adam then hit Luchasaurus with a spear. Adam Copeland then stood tall with Darby Allen and Sting, shaking the hand of Sting to a large ovation to close the show. Adam Copeland's WWE contract expired at the end of September, and he had turned down an offer from them to return. AEW head Tony Khan was quick to tweet minutes after he debuted that the Rated R Superstar was all elite and part of the team. Soon to be 50, Adam Copeland has been with WWE since 1996, staying affiliated with the company during his retirement from 2011 to 2019. He returned to in-ring action at the 2020 Royal Rumble and wrestled what would be his final match for WWE in Toronto against Sheamus last month. Adam Copeland said he felt free making his AEW debut, adding that he plans to be a full-time wrestler for the company. He was the first talent to speak to the media at the post-show's media scrum, where he noted that he is joining the AEW roster as a full-time performer and will be with the company weekly. Both Adam and Tony Khan both stated that he is joining the company's active roster as a full-time wrestler, with Tony adding that he will be wrestling a lot. In speaking of potential future opponents, Adam Copeland said that with just a cursory glance of the AEW roster, he had given Tony Khan a list of 14 names of people that he would like to work with, repeatedly mentioning Samoa Joe as someone who he has never wrestled that he would like to. Adam's debut AEW match has been announced for Dynamite Title Tuesday on October 10th, where he will face Luchasaurus. Adam Copeland also stated that he had semi-sequestered himself in his hotel in Seattle prior to his debut, only exiting occasionally to get food as he hoped to avoid being spotted ahead of Wrestle Dream. Copeland also addressed leaving WWE and joining AEW in a statement posted to social media, where he attempted to diffuse tribalism between WWE and AEW fans in addressing his move. Some of which he wrote included, First and foremost, I want to address my 25 years with WWE. I love WWE and appreciate everything the company did for me. Always have, always will. They put me on the map, gave me amazing opportunities, and through hard work on both ends, I've been supplied with a wonderful life. He went on to say, Sometimes relationships just grow apart, and I feel the WWE and I have just outgrown each other. I wanted to do more. They didn't have much more for me to do. Simple as that, and that's okay. I'll still be watching and still be supporting all of my friends there. He then went on to say, I don't buy into this odd mentality of one company or the other. It's weird. If you took offense to that, take a walk, get some fresh air, and soak up some sunshine. It's wrestling, an amazing gig but still, it's wrestling. Relax, it's supposed to be fun. He then closed it out by saying, I guess what I'm trying to say is this. If you've appreciated my work, you still can, no matter what the initials are, because I'll still be busting my ass every time I'm out there. This ride isn't over just yet. Just try to have fun like it should be, because trust me, I'll be having fun every time I'm out there in an AEW ring. Let's go. AEW Wrestle Dream will be returning in 2024. During his post-show media scrum on Sunday night, Tony Khan was asked if Wrestle Dream is going to be an annual event and if the show will continue to be held in Seattle. Tony couldn't confirm where it will be taking place next year, but he said Wrestle Dream will definitely be returning. 
Tony said he thinks AEW is on a run of four straight pay-per-views that are all classic. With the addition of Collision, Tony thinks AEW is able to develop pay-per-views better with five hours of television instead of three. Saying, Wrestle Dream is here to stay. As a pay-per-view, it did incredibly well. Looks like it's up from All Out. Wrestle Dream over 100,000 buys. I think it's pretty safe to say based on digital projection. The AEW president was asked about Jade leaving his company and signing with WWE during the Wrestle Dream post-show media scrum on Sunday. Tony Khan says he was hopeful AEW would be able to re-sign her, but when it became clear they wouldn't, he wanted to give her the best send-off possible. Saying, we were talking about a new contract and I was very interested in Jade coming back and we were having a negotiation. I made a very big offer and I thought it was a very fair offer and I think she was considering it and then she asked for a bigger offer and then I went up again. I kind of thought that was going to do it and then it didn't, which I was surprised because to be honest, I came up to a number that was higher than her original ask. So I don't know what I would have to do at that point. He went on to say, I think I tried to handle it when we were down to the nitty gritty and we're in the final couple of weeks and we still hadn't agreed to something. Then it was at the point I said, said, well, if you're not going to stay, I want to give you the best possible exit. He also said, I have only good things to say about Jade. I really enjoyed working with her. She was a great part of AEW. She's always welcome here. I tried to give her the best possible send off I could. Tony Khan then compared the send off he gave Jade Cargill to when Ric Flair left WWE in 1993. He also reiterated that that door is open for Jade to return in the future if she chooses to. Cargill's WWE signing was announced last week. She addressed her decision to leave AEW and join WWE during an appearance on the Ringer podcast, saying, I want to create a legacy. I want to be in the Hall of Fame. I want to wrestle with the best women in the world. I mean, there is no grander stage than this stage. The opportunities are endless for this company. It's a no-brainer. It was very welcoming. I didn't have any second thoughts about it at all. It was just an easy choice. It wasn't easy, but it was easy. Additionally, Sunday's Wrestle Dream saw two wrestlers walk away injured. After a nasty bump on ringside steps, courtesy of TNT champion Christian Cage in the main event, Darby Allen had his right arm in a sling and was headed to a local hospital to have it looked at. Mark Davis has a possible broken left wrist after taking a top rope splash from Cash Wheeler during the FTR vs. Aussie Open AEW Tag Team title match. Davis was favoring the wrist during the duration of the match, but gutted it out as his team eventually succumbed to the champions. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.